My daily message for Sunday, December 13th is a children's message. And children, we're talking about Advent, the time before Christmas when we expect the birth of Jesus. And long before Jesus was born, people were expecting God to send his son, to send a Messiah, a Christ, a leader, someone who would love them, someone who would bless them, someone who would show them that God loves them. But they didn't always expect exactly what Jesus was going to be. And that happens all the time when we expect certain things, but it doesn't turn out that way. For example, I have these two little oval metal balls. They kind of look like footballs. What would you expect them to sound like if I threw them up into the air? Well, you might not expect anything, but listen to this. I wasn't expecting that the first time. And how about little Yoda here? Now, were you really expecting him to be able to lift up this starship when I moved his arm? The first time, I wasn't expecting that. And what about this bird? Were you really expecting that this bird would balance perfectly on my finger? That's not what I expected the first time. What we expect doesn't always turn out. You see, most of the people were expecting someone who would make Israel the greatest of nations. He would be a king. He would lead armies and defeat all their foes. But instead, Jesus came as a baby. A baby in a palace? A baby born to kings? No. A baby born in a stable, in a manger, born poor, born out of the way, born without any worldly importance. But Jesus is Lord, and he is the Lord of your life. And you should know that because Jesus was born the way he was, he knows what it's like to be little. He knows what it's like to think that it takes forever to grow up. He knew what it was like to be poor. He knew what it was like to have to wait for good things to come. And so Jesus knows you, and Jesus loves you, and Jesus brings God's embrace all around you, and you can expect Jesus to continue to love you just the way he does. Let us pray. Lord, what are we expecting? When we think of the birth of Jesus, let's expect a relationship with God, a Christ who loves us, a Jesus who knows where we've been and has walked where we walk. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.